So a topic that keeps coming up recently is radon and what do you need to do about it? Well, let's take a look at what radon actually is. So it's a naturally forming gas and it comes from uranium that turns into radium, which turns into radon. Now this builds up deep, deep, deep in the ground and then starts coming up and can infiltrate your house. So there's different areas around the UK. That, so if you're looking at England like this, we have a lot of radon down here, a lot up here, and maybe a little bit in these sort of areas. So radon will come up through all the bedrock and then come into your building. So radon is actually the biggest cause of lung cancer in the world. So it's a count for about 20,000 deaths. And um, what we do when we're insulating our building and doing all our air tightness is we, we insulate, we air tight, we might even ventilate a little bit. But what we don't do is tackle the radon. So we've got a massive build up in, in this building of radon because you either had a barrier, maybe in the past, or you have no barrier. So this radon is coming up all through your, all through the floors. So what we need to do is make sure that when we're doing any retrofit, we put a barrier there. And this just doesn't just go on the floor. So if we've got internal walls, I've seen a lot of people do this recently. So they put a radon barrier from here to here and from here to here. Well, if the radon's just come up 120 meters, go through your wall it's going to go through your block work as well and it'll it'll come out of there as well so you're going to have to take your radon unfortunately when you're doing retrofit up all the walls and as much as possible to stop that radon getting into the barrier getting into the house 